Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. In this episode, we're going to have a look at the uh, former state of Ethiopia in terms of the civil war that is taking place in that country. And then I'm going to try to transpose those events. I'm going to take the events that occurred and have occurred inside of the former state of Ethiopia regarding Ethiopia, uh, the Tigray region, and uh, really Abiy Ahmed, the Prosperity Party. And I'm going to take those events and I'm going to give an example of what that would look like inside of the United States. Uh, again, I've received a, 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 a bit of questions in regards to the Civil War, how it started. Uh, there is uh, not a lot of, uh, of understanding, especially with the uh, No More movement that has taken place, that is really kind of giving a one side of the picture in terms of uh, the events that took place in, uh, in late uh, 2020. So again, I'm going to take these events and I'm going to give you an example of this taking place inside of the United States. So here we go. I'm going to try to do this. So again, this is going to be a rough analogy, not completely indicative of what occurred, but very, very close, okay, in terms of our political system inside of the United States. And I'm going to try and set the stage here a little bit. So first, the uh, Mexico. Mexico is not a democratic nation. It is not a country that has free elections. Matter of fact, Mexico has now been ruled by a tyrant for the last 30 years. There are no elections in Mexico. Joe Biden is currently in office. He is president of the United States. And because of political division inside of the United States, Joe Biden is declaring that the Democratic Party is now called the Prosperity Party. And because of the, the conflict between political parties, all political parties are now dissolved and must be part of the Prosperity Party. The Republican Party is now dissolved and must be part of his party, the Prosperity Party, a unitary single one-party state. Now we're going to look at Texas. Texas is very obviously concerned over the events that are happening inside of the United States. Obviously, Joe Biden is disconcerned as well over events that are taking place in Texas, especially in regards to uh, abortion laws and other, other issues such as the COVID mandates and what have you. So with that being said, Joe Biden declares that Governor, state executive, governor elections, gubernatorial elections in the state of Texas are canceled. And furthermore, Governor Abbott is no longer the governor of Texas. He's decided to put his son in the, uh, in the governor's uh, mansion in the state of Texas. Hunter Biden is now the governor of Texas by decree. And again, there are no longer uh, governor, uh, executive, gubernatorial elections in the state of Texas. Furthermore, the uh, state guard of Texas, so you have to understand Texas uh, has its own state guard as well as the national guard. And uh, as of today, the Texas state guard and national guard are henceforth dissolved. So again, there is no more governor gubernatorial elections in Texas, executive elections in Texas, no local elections in Texas, all have been canceled by edict of Joe Biden under the guise of the Prosperity Party. And uh, obviously, <laughs> the state of Texas would have issues with that. And again, that is more or less what occurred inside of the former state of Ethiopia. And again, I call it the former state of Ethiopia because obviously, if this happened inside of the United States of America, again, a one-party unitary system, dissolved the Republican Party, canceled gubernatorial elections in the state of Texas, dissolved the National Guard, dissolved the Texas State Army, and then put... A, uh, an executive 
uh, 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 crony in the uh, the governor's mansion in the state of Texas, obviously Texas would rebel without a doubt. Now we're going to switch. We're going to switch the uh, the wheels a little bit, and I know some of you are. Are, are probably uh, a diehard Democrats and are probably uh, losing your shit right now. So we're going to switch it. So these are the people that, uh, that uh, have Trump derangement system. So we're going to switch it a little bit. We're going to go back in time. We're going to go to 2017, 2018, 2019, when Trump was in power. Same thing. Donald Trump has decreed that there is too much political division inside the United States. Henceforth, the Republican Party is now known as the Prosperity Party. And in the guise of a better United States, a more united United States, the Democratic Party is now dissolved, and all former members of the, the Democratic Party must join the Prosperity Party. And looking over at California, Donald Trump obviously has 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 a has a lot of disagreements with Gavin Newsom, and he has now decreed that governor elections in California, gubernatorial elections in California, are henceforth dissolved, and Donald Trump Jr. is now the governor of California, or whoever he decides to pick. And the, the California National Guard is henceforth dissolved. And as Executive Order 215.2, the California National Guard is now falling directly under the command of Donald Trump. So again, not quite exactly what occurred inside of the former state of Ethiopia, but very similar. Very, very similar in terms of a, a election, a very valid election was planned in the Tigray region, and those elections were canceled under the guise of COVID-19. Furthermore, the regional uh, forces of the Tigray region were also placed under a new command system. And again, much like the governors in, in individual U.S. states, these regional forces are under the command of these regional of these regional leaders inside of the former state of Ethiopia. So again, I hope that kind of gives you an idea of what occurred and why it's so sensitive in terms of the outrage that it created inside of the Tigray region, but he, you know, it even goes deeper than that in terms of of hypothetical arrests of all members of, let's say, the Democratic Party. Let's say Donald Trump has decided to arrest fifty uh, percent of all Democratic leaders and incarcerate them. That is that is actually what happened inside of the former state of Ethiopia. So again, I'm just trying to compare and contrast and give you, the viewer, a kind of a, a better idea of what caused this horrid civil war now taking place inside of the former state of Ethiopia. Feel free to comment. Have a great day, everybody.